This is Ross Castanato interviewing Billy Van Zant at the July 2022 Burbank Hollywood Show. So now, out of all the characters in film and television that you've played, which one is your favorite? Uh, probably whatever the next one is, is my guess. Ah, nice. You know, uh, but I had fun. I've, I've done a whole bunch of weird different things. I did uh, American Dad as, a, as Jerry the Dentist. I was Bob in Jaws 2. I was the only alien other than Leonard Nimoy in the first Star Trek movie. I was in Taps with uh, Tom Cruise, Sean Penn, all those guys. Yeah. And they were all fun. They were all different. Nice. Why would you say that those are your favorites? Uh, probably because I had the most fun doing them. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, very nice. What was the first film that you appeared in? Jaws 2. It was actually my first audition for a movie. Oh. And they got cast in the original uh, version of Jaws 2 with a different director, John Hancock, a different writer, Dorothy Tristan, and a different cast. And we rehearsed four weeks up in Martha's Vineyard, and they sent us all home, and they fired the director, they fired the writer, they fired most of the cast. I didn't know anything of that, about that until I was called to, into Florida to start the movie again. Different director, different writer, Carl Gottlieb came in to rewrite it, and a whole different cast, and they changed the film from what would have been a very dark horror film into more of a family-friendly horror film. Uh, nice. And we were we worked on that for 11 months. Oh. And uh, I had a ball. It was a very... It was my first movie, and it was the best school I ever could have had for making film. Cool, nice. What was your favorite moment from working on that? The death scene that they cut out. Ah, I, I was the last death in the movie, and uh, the, the certain number of deaths constituted an R rating, oh. and I was the last death, so they decided I was going to live it after, after we filmed it, after I did my own stunt and they pulled me underwater with the shark crashing on top of me, I, uh, I, I found out that I had to live, so they, they, they did an insert of me crawling up on the rocks. Ah, nice. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Um, what projects are you currently working on? I'm back in the theater mostly now. I've got 25 plays I've written, and I've written a couple of books. Getting the Car Jane, which is available on Amazon. It was number one for a minute and a half. Uh, but I'm mostly doing my plays. I've got 25 plays that are done all over the world that I would do in between all the film projects, all the TV shows that I wrote for. And I'm touring around in a show called The Boomer Boys Musical, which is four guys of a certain age uh, singing and complaining about the things that men go through when you hit a certain age. It's pretty funny, and we've been all over the country. Oh, very nice. Um, do you think you would want to maybe someday turn uh, Get in the Car, Jane, or any of your other books, or talk to people about getting them, the books turned into movies or television films or that sort of thing? Absolutely. There's a, there's a book I've, uh, I'm, I'm writing now that will be published uh, probably in six months or so. Um, that is definitely a good movie. Uh, it's called The Cracker Jack Man. That's all I'll say about it right now. But uh, we're looking to sell the movie rights to that already. And a lot of my plays would make good films. We just never did it. Oh, very nice. And when you're trying to portray a character, what sort of image do you get in your mind of how the character is supposed to be? Uh, it depends on the script. You read... The, it doesn't matter what the character says. It only matters in my mind what the character does. So you go by that first of all. And... Uh, then, of course, the dialogue and the director, all that, and everybody, everybody, it's a, it's a group effort to put a performance together for film. But um, primarily, you read the script and see what the character does, not what he says. Huh. Very nice. Well, thank you for allowing me to interview. My pleasure. Thanks. Have, have a great time. Thank you. You too. All right. Well, there you have it. That was Rostro Castanato interviewing Billy Van Zant at the July 2022 Burbank Hollywood Show. Perfect.